And now at five, a tornado hit South LA. Trees uprooted, car windows smashed, and the front of a building ripped apart. Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us right here on KCAL News at 5 on CBS Los Angeles. I'm Jasmine Veal. And good evening, everyone. I'm Ross Palumbo. We're also streaming live right now on CBS News Los Angeles. It was an EF0 tornado when it touched down this morning in Carson. This stunning cell phone video shows the twister hitting the side of a building and debris swirling everywhere in the air. Well, the twister, brief but destructive, 75 mile per hour winds ripping off part of a roof and leaving tarps tangled in a power line. Look at that. And we have tornado team coverage tonight, starting with Rena Nakano live in Compton and Reno, the second one in a month. Wow. It struck again. Yeah, exactly. Second official one in a month. That is what the National Weather Service is saying right now. And as you said, we know for a fact that the one that touched down in Carson earlier this morning, that one was definitely an EF zero. But I'm standing here in Compton, which is a couple miles off to the east, and there's plenty of damage here too. Uh, our weather team just got an update from the National Weather Service. They say that this one could possibly be a second completely separate tornado if it did touch down. They do say they still need their staff to come out here and survey the damage to make sure, but it is starting to look that way, but plenty of damage to go around, unfortunately, in both Carson and in Compton. Power lines exploding, planters flying in the air. Instead of watering wholesale plants, workers at New West Growers in Compton are busy cleaning up. I see everything just kind of in a circular motion going up in the air and the debris is just, everything's getting picked up. Our table flew away to who knows where. Viviana Hernandez was at her family's nursery when dark, ominous clouds shrouded over Compton. She said strong winds lifted hundreds of feet of their garden tarp into the air, some getting caught in electrical lines above, Starting a fire. My grandma was outside when it happened and it kind of blew her back. Um, it was that forceful to blow her back, but um, I just kind of grabbed her and pulled her inside. According to the National Weather Service, this was one of at least two wind events that happened Thursday morning just before nine. Three and a half miles west at the Del Amo Behavioral Health Systems in Carson, an EF0 tornado touched down just before 8.50 a.m., uprooting a tree and stripping away roof panels. Our palm trees that are, you know, fairly large were blowing sideways. We thought, whoa, are we having a little tornado? And then all of a sudden you see that tree topple over. Residents and businesses lost power for a few minutes and at least one car was damaged, but the person was able to drive it away. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the nursery, Hernandez and her family are picking up whatever remains on their property. Still in awe that one minute of tornadic activity could obliterate their livelihood. Honestly, it felt like it just just went straight through this nursery and that like just uh, disappeared. And uh, back out here in Compton, just to give you a comparison, what happened in Montebello a little bit earlier this year, that one was an EF1 compared to the one this morning in Carson, which was an EF0, so it is a little bit weaker. Good news is we do know that there are no injuries both in Carson and in Compton. Live in Compton, I'm Rita Nakano, KCAL News.